Now, I'm sure every gamer is aware of a ROM hack, especially nowadays when ROM hacks are common now more than ever. And here's one right here. I'll just sit back and let you watch. Yes. It's Super Pika Land Ultra Chocolate version, and that is the Guile theme. Uh, yeah, so if you haven't noticed by now, this is a Super Mario World ROM hack, and uh, it is hard as nails. I am not kidding. Uh, it took me a lot of effort just to get to like level three, and I know there are some people that are like, oh, I've beaten this game like six times, but man, I just gotta show you the absurdity of this game. So we started at another empty hut, now we gotta go to Leafy Greens. And uh, yeah, your your first enemy is a Ratata. So those are like the Goombas in this game. And uh, your mushroom is the Thunderstone. And of course the coin blocks are uh, Pokeballs, because what else would they be? Um, and the Koopa Troopas are Squirtles, because why not? I mean, we gotta have some Pokemon characters. Let's just have Squirtle. Uh, it doesn't control terribly. It is basically Super Mario World. Um, interestingly enough, the level isn't timed. There's no timer on the top of the screen like there would be in Super Mario World. Um, and that's because, I guess because it takes a long time to finish the levels? I don't know exactly what it is, and of course now I can say that I suck at video games because I'm really bad. <sighs> Alright, uh, so, I tell ya, these, these ROM hacks, man, they keep getting more and more creative or something. The uh, music here is from Super Mario Land, 3D Land, for some reason. I guess whoever created the, the ROM hack wanted to wasn't satisfied with other music or from Pokemon or Mario. From the, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> this is this is nuts. I if you'd have told me if you'd have told me that there was a uh, Super Mario World ROM hack that featured Pikachu as the main character, and when you get a mushroom, which is a thunderstone, you evolve into Raichu, and when you get hit, you somehow de-evolve back into a Pikachu. See, I'm not even paying attention to the game. That's just how much it... Ugh. And I, I, I'm probably not going to get very far in this game, because I never do. I'm terrible at video games. That's probably going to be like the... The running joke in this whole thing is Retro Rob is bad at video games, and it's true. I'm I'm terrible. I don't know if you've ever seen any of the other collaborative like YouTube channels or whatever I've been in where I play video games. I'm just terrible at them, and so I'm not going to claim to be good at them. I'm not going to be I'm not going to claim to be some sort of LP master that you know does entire LPs of games in like three videos or four videos doing that good. But jeez, yeah, there I go again, and. I don't know if it's the controller, if it's me, or if it's the game, but it feels a little bit slippy. Slip, slip. Feels a little bit slippery. Um, so I'm not really sure how that, what factors are going into that, because when I let go of the D-pad, and I know most Mario games have like uh, momentum where if you if you let go of the, the D-pad, Mario will just, you know, slow to a stop. I don't know if that's what this is or or not. And see, as you can tell. The suckage is back full force, baby. I am absolutely terrible at video games. When we get back, it's the Guile theme. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this is just amazing. Like out of out of all things, for the title screen of your Super Mario World ROM hack featuring Pokemon characters, your title screen music is the Guile theme from Street Fighter. I don't I don't understand. All right, let's try Leafy Greens again. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can beat my old record. Let's see if I can get to level three. I tell you, man, is this is this gonna be the running joke of the series where I cannot, I just can't, I, I just can't play video games? Yeah, that's that's what it's gonna be. I'm just bad at video games. So maybe maybe this is just uh, meant to be like a challenge for. For accomplished Super Mario World players, you know, people who have played Super Mario World, you know, a million times, they're so good at the game, they know the game forward to back, 
problem is I was not around when Super Mario World was the the game, you know, the big game, because I was born in 1996, right? I was born well after the Super Nintendo was it, it was at its peak of popularity. Hell, when I was born, Nintendo 64 was was the thing. And when I started playing video games, it was GameCube, and everybody was playing GameCube. You still had some Nintendo 64s around, but it wasn't as popular as GameCube. And, um, of course, I wasn't really a console guy. Um, that's probably because my parents never really bought me a console. Here we go. Alright, so here's the lightning bolt. Uh, it lets you use Thunderbolt. And instead of in most Mario games where you know how the fireball bounces around, the uh, Thunderbolt goes straight, so you can just shoot. And I, yeah, great. I can, I can review a game. Jesus. <sighs> yep. It's just, it was just hard for me to grasp the idea of this, where it's a Super Mario World game. I've just, I've said this already. Uh, am, am I just great? A commentary? I want you to keep in mind that this is the first level of the game, and we're getting into some advanced platforming here. This is the very first level of this game. I can't, I can't do commentary. Alright, that's level one. So now... The level select music is uh, the St. Anne theme, by the way. Level 2, Rhubarb Ridge. Let's see how well I can do here. And now we got the Bulbasaur, who uh, walks quicker than other enemies, and he shoots, I guess, vines or whatever. Um, Jigglypuff, just jump around the Bulbasaur, do that. No! Alright, well, there goes my Thunderstone. Uh, the, the Dragon Coins are Pokeballs, by the way. And there's Voltorb, too, which explode. Um, like this. Come on. There you go. They explode. Because they're Voltorb. What else would they do? Oh, and the, uh, the Vine is a Weeping Bell. That's pretty... That's pretty funny. Alright, so we get up here. Get these coins. Where is that? No. Okay. Mudkips now. I'm so sorry that I don't have any better commentary. Oh, there's a shiny mudkip. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a shiny mudkip here. That's 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 beautiful. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm just gonna squat. Can you imagine uh, what this Pikachu might be thinking right now? He is he is literally squashing flat these other Pokemon. It must he must feel either terrible or he must be a, a vicious mass murderer. I mean he he really wants their blood. Look at all these these Squirtles, these Bulbasaur's that he's killing ruthlessly. Another shiny Mudkip. Boom, he's dead. Boom, he's dead. I I don't understand. It's like oh and you're, yeah there we go. That's level two. Okay. So with the help of a star, which they didn't change into anything else for the for the ROM hack, by the way, it's just a star. You know, we 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 had the the thunderstone, the lightning bolt. What are we gonna use for the star? Uh, I don't know. Just keep it as the star. Level one three, Birch Bridge. This is the third level of the game, and look at this sort of platforming we gotta do here. This is insane, and I I, I can't I can't do platforming. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. All right, here we go. There's the lightning bolt again, so now, we're, now we can actually fight back. And now in this level we got flying mudkips that, uh, that fly and they're basically like the uh, caped uh, Koopa Troopas from Super Mario World. Yeah, that's that's great, that's beautiful. There we go. And there's a trap inch, uh, he's like the mole. Monty Mole, is that what the, I don't know what he's called in Super Mario World. But I'm like, okay, here's the thing, right? I, I have, I can, I can appreciate really hard ROM hacks because for a lot of these people who make the ROM hacks, they just want to make a challenge or they want to add something to the game that wasn't there. But when you put this out and there's no, and maybe it's just me being bad at video games and complaining because video games are hard because that's what I do. 
because I'm not good at video games. Look at this. No wonder they didn't put a time limit, because I cannot platform to save my life. Yeah, alright. Maybe, maybe I can make a series out of this. Maybe, maybe, maybe this will get some sort of traction and I can play this game more often and tear my brains out and just how absurd it is and just how, how beautiful. This, this game is a work of art. Let me tell you. When people talk about games as being works of art, I'm not talking about Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild work of art. No, I'm talking, I'm talking Raichu jumping around on a bridge trying to get to the end of the level in a platforming video game in a... Super Mario Brothers ROM hack. That is a work of art right there, ladies and gentlemen. That that is what art truly is. And if you can't see that, then you have no taste. You are a tasteless swine. Culture cul uncultured swine. I like me, I'm uncultured swine. I sit around pretending I'm a gamer who's actually good at video games. Like like people think, oh, he's gonna he's gonna beat this game. He's gonna He's gonna do a no death LP, and there's a vile plume, and I just I fall off the edge, and that's where I died last time, and now I got a game over. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not good at video games. <laughs> I've been retro Rob. This is Super Pika Land Ultra. I will see you in the next one.